Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Well, you too? I'm doing good too. Welcome back on my video session. Previously, uh, I made a video on uh, how to play Nintendo Wii games uh, from uh, flash drive and hard drive, but it wasn't formatted. All it was a folder for the creative root of the flash drive and hard drive a folder called WBFS then you click on that then it's a ga then you then it's your game folder uh, game title space brackets game ID bracket once that's done you click on your game folder then you have an ISO in there and it's a game ID dot WBFS. And once you do that, your game will show up and all that. But now I've got this another program called Tekken Moon VVC. Now this program will do everything. You don't need to make any game title or uh, game ID. You don't do any of that. And even the Game ID and WBFS. You don't really do that. It is that easy. Now, the problem with with um, the other program that I was talking about, because you're using a USB loader GX with that idea, but you can only install up to 4 GB file if you formatted your uh, flash drive and hard drive to FAT32. And that's what you have to do. You can't install a, a, a game more than 4G. There is a way around to that as well. We will talk about in a, that in a, a separate video. But this Tika Moon, what it will do, so it will create, create the, it will build it, and it will do less than 4GB. Sometimes what it does, like if the game is around about 2 or 3GB, it will make you like 1 or 1.5 GB, it makes you even smaller, it does that, it's really good and it saves a lot of space for your memory. So anyway, so that's how that works, let's get cracking into this another program, it's really wild and once the, the game's all done, it goes onto your Wii U menu, okay, it does that as well. So let's go into the internet, as we always do. Now here what you need to do, you need to type in download T can moon in one word, no spaces You don't have to spell T can moon, I'll spell it for you T E C O N M O O N Okay Then V V C No spaces Center. Now you need to select the right one from here, yeah? So it's the third result, which says GitHub. Go for that one. Okay, it should say this, T can use here. Then the version is 3.0.1.12. Okay, then you go to Assets, and you select the second one, okay, this one, it's downloading now, once you click on that, it starts downloading, which is pretty interesting, <laughs> as always, download and install. It's together the download and install in this thing, really, you don't want to do anything, really. So minimize that. So 
Hello? Extract here. Delete that. Okay. Now, once you extract it, you get the application straight away. So just double click on it. Right, so the program opens up. Yeah. Uh, just hold on. Right. From here, yeah, make sure it's selected on we retail, yeah, as that circle up there. Okay. Now, before we Go further. Make sure you take an SD card from the Wii U. Okay? And then you place it into the PC. Okay? Now this is important. Once your SD card opens, you gotta cut your drive. Mine's drive F. Okay. Now what you do from here, you go to here, can you see where it's highlighted? Yeah. It's right below GC retail, okay? It's called Nintendo SD card menu. Click on that. Now make sure we selected on your drive, mine's F. Alright. Now the next one you can see download the latest version of Nintendo and all that. It's highlighted, click on that. Okay, it's all done now, yeah? And press OK. Now that below that is another line like that, yeah? It says generate. Uh, Nintendo config file, yeah? Do not do anything there right now. Okay? Now, you got all these boxes here, yeah? Which you can, do, you can use it for this Nintendo Wii games, yeah? Now, if you look down here, nothing is highlighted. This is your memory card, yeah? If you want to save games and all that, you need to activate this. So, what you need to do here, Go in the middle again, go to a thing called memory card emulation. You see that? Once you tick that, that's activated. Yeah? The memory card block thing, yeah? Now, if you want widescreen, because sometimes it comes in 4.3 and all that, I will select this. Okay, the Wii U widescreen. Oh, it comes in 4.3 and all that. There you go. Right, now to the memory card blocks at the bottom. This is the only section you need to look into now. Drop down. Go to 251 blocks. That's the maximum you can do. Now, this box could be a lot, but it's only for just for this one game. Once you do that, click on Generate. Now you click on Generate. There you go. Press OK. And now press the cross. Okay, let's continue further, yeah? Okay, from here is the very first tab. You have to select. Yeah, can you see my cursor moving on it? Yeah. That one, yeah? And you click on Game. Let's get this right. So, my game, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, 
is on the desktop. Okay, there it is. So select it. Press open. Select it again. To the ISO bar. Open. There you go. It's, it's come up in there. Yeah. Now, icon and banners is a point to doing this. Yeah. The easier way to do is from here, the left one. Yeah. Can you see on the left side? It says download. You click on that, you'll get the icon banners. Watch this. There you go. If you don't, if this website doesn't have the icon banners for you, you got this second option here to generate it. And you even got a drop down here, yeah? You can just take a look at it yourself, yeah? I've got to show you, look. There you go. Download, yeah? And all that. From here, you go for the first one, yeah? And you can select that here as well. There you go. Now, when I did that, the icon and banners are all there now. If this one doesn't work, and this one doesn't work, if they both don't have it, then you need to get your own icon and banners and place them in there. See, you can select the look, icon, you select for icon, banner for banner, yeah? That, okay, that's all done. The optional part now. Now, this is for your second disk. The reason it's not highlighted because the program knows Sumer Galaxy is only on one disk. If there's two disks, this will be highlighted. And you have to click on this as well. Yeah? That's all you do on that. And nothing else. Then on the gamepad, tab, click on that. It's giving you all these codes. Don't really worry about all this, yeah? Yeah, don't worry about all this. This is all fine. Next one is advanced. Yeah, this part. If your game, if you didn't select widescreen from there, if your game is originally is 4.3, you can select this for your 4.3 option, yeah? You can select that if you want. Okay? Now the next option is this one. It says here, don't use gamepad. If you tick this, you want them to use a gamepad. If you leave it on tick, like where it is right now, you will be able to use the gamepad, okay? So if you want to use a gamepad, leave it on tick. That's why you do on that. Then you go to this build thing, build title. Now here, you need the Wii U common key and that game, yeah? Rhythm Heaven something, yeah? You need the title key for that, okay? And the last part here. Yeah, you probably don't need that really. I ignore that. Now here, output directly. Where do you want to see your game on, yeah? Click on here. Ooh, we will do it on the desktop. Again, yeah? And press OK. There you go. And now what you do from here? You click build. There you go. Now it's building the game for you. Onto your desktop. You'll get this whatever what I just done right now. It'll be all done like this. Okay, so it's really amazing. This is how it's done. Now 
what has been doing there's more to this program so what this program is going to do once it's built it's going to do it for uh, the whoop installer GX2 so you need to have whoop installer GX2 on your Wii U console alright you need to have that so on your SD card yeah so I'll show you that yeah on the SD card you need an install folder yeah yeah can you see that I'll just delete all that yeah Deleted, okay. Let me look, it's deleted. Let's delete this file. Let's de let this file delete first, then I'll tell you more. Yeah, it's going pretty far. The line's going pretty quick. Right, once the Super Mario Galaxy is built fully completely, you need to create a folder called install on your root of your SD card. Yeah? And that file is going to create, it's for Whoop Store GX2. So it needs to go in here. Yeah? Don't worry, I will show you how, how it's been done. Yeah? When we follow the next step. let that complete so exactly know how long it's going to take so the SD card is in the PC okay so remember that as well still needs to remain in the PC that's what it is Yeah, it's called more than half. So it's pretty fast. If you don't do anything else, it, it does it pretty quickly. But considering these games are over 4, 4 GB, they're pretty large games. Let this complete. Once it's complete, I will tell you the next steps. Okay, it's going pretty far now.
So be patient. So, just be patient. It's, it is taking a bit long to do that. Yeah. Okay. It's really, really good once it gets converted and it builds all this. It's really, really impressive, man. I mean, it's, it's so easy once you know how to do it. You can keep on building different different games for your Nintendo Wii. It's really really impressive. And the other thing about this program is I will show you that. Don't worry as well. Um, it will ask you if you want to use the gamepad. If you say if you don't want to use the gamepad if you select that option, then you have to play like the original way, using the game controller. Then you use the game controller on the gamepad and the TV. You can do that. But if you select, you wanna you you wanna um, use the gamepad, then you play on the gamepad screen and use the game controls on the, on this device. Really impressive. Okay. If you feel this is too long, you can just forward my video and just keep on going further, yeah. Because I can't do anything from here, really. There's nothing I can even, you know, make it go quicker. I don't have them kind of features to do all that. Otherwise, I would have done it. It's a very, very impressive, won't you know. It's so good, it, they run really, really well. The Nintendo Wii games, yeah? There were other options as well. You could select why we want it. Where we, you see, when we was on that uh, Nintendo SD card menu, there were other options in that middle box. You remember that middle box? We have a lot of blocks. On to the right side, you can select more stuff for your Nintendo Wii. I didn't select them, but if you want to select them, you can do it. And then you can generate it. And then press cross there. There's no problem about that.
Okay, it's going further now, yeah? I just saw that. Please be patient. They are long games. It's really worth it even if it's taking a long time. Okay, so it's going further now. So still be patient.
Uh, still be patient. Okay, still wait. Whoa, it's taking a pretty long time. Huh? Oh, don't worry. 
will eventually be there. Right, so how far have we gone now? Uh, <laughs> still a bit, bit of way to go, isn't it? Uh, is, okay. Just be patient, man. It's, it does take a bit of time, all right. <laughs> this must be the longest video ever. <laughs> so this is the proper time. How long it takes to do a Wii game? So it takes a lot, a lot of time. See that? It is not easy. It takes a long, long time. Wow! Very long time. Man. I'm very sorry about that, but it does take time. It might go quick, you know, when it gets right, doesn't need anything more. Then it does it pretty quickly, all right? <laughs> you watch it at the same time while he's doing it. We are approaching to the end now. Be patient. Be patient. Be, be, be patient. <laughs> the video is going a bit long, isn't it? I'm very, very sorry about this.
also I will do some gameplay for you a bit Oh, Super Mario Galaxy? It's gonna be really, really awesome. So, you're not just watching, just building. I will show you the actual game. Okay, we just got a bit more to go. We still have, yeah, it's taking a bit long, isn't it? Okay, I'm getting it already set up so we can even see Super Mario Galaxy as well. First, I will show you how to do everything. On the TV and everything like that. Yeah. What happens with this? You know when you'll understand when I show it here. What happens?
There's going to be more stuff to show yet. This is not over yet. There's going to be more to this yet. This is just building the game called Super Mario Galaxy. Okay?
Right. Wow. It's taking a long time, man. Okay, it's coming dry. Once it gets to there, it does it pretty quickly. Get it ready now, because the real entertainment starts now. With Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, it's come on the bottom left line. If you look at the bottom, the yellow border, Superman Galaxy has come up there now. He's going over there now. Okay, he's nearly, nearly over now. Finally. Right, once you're done, I'll tell you the next steps, what you have to do, because this is really important from here, because this file will be for Whoop Installer GX2, okay, that's what it's for, right.
is nearly done now. So be patient. Yeah, it's like a lot of waiting time, and that's why the videos are so long. Oh, come on, man. Finish it off. We ain't got all day. It's coming to an end now, and from there we'll soon get to the next process. Right. All right. Right, it's coming to an end now. It's probably pretty quick from here. Just be patient with me, yeah? It soon will be over.
This program takes a lot, a long time. There's another program which I'm going to talk about in another video, which is really useful when your games are over 4 GB. Then you won't able to put them in your flash drives and hard drives. But this program is always fine. You don't need to do with this one. That's a big advantage about this program. And leave your Wii U turned off here. Do not turn it on. Do not turn it on. Okay, we're getting there so closely, so...
Usually the GameCube ones, when it gets to that point, it does it really quickly. But this one's taking longer. Because this game file sizes are bigger. Must be something to do with that.
Okay, so here we go. So now it's done. And you can close that now. Yeah, you just say yes there, yeah. So basically, there's the file. Where did you grab it? Put it here, yeah. Okay, first of all, I'll show you what, the, what it looks like under the folder. You get these files in it. You know that open store GXT do all these apps and all these files? Yeah? You get all that. So what you do now, copy, yeah? Copy and paste it into the install for the root of SD card, yeah? Like so. There you go. So what I've done now, so you got a on your root of your SD card, you got a install folder, click on that, and this folder of Sumer Galaxy, which I just built it, goes into the store folder. Okay, now it's it's going in there. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> it did, did. Yeah, it took a very, very long time though. Okay, let that just install into there. Then I'll show you the next process here.
Okay, it's nearly complete now, yeah? See, now you can see... Yeah, you can see on there though. Now you can see that all that what we just built it. It's in there now. Yeah, Sumer Galaxy. You click that, you get these files in there, okay? You get these files out there. Now what you do now, you close this, okay? And you take the SD card out of your PC. Okay? Now you insert the SD card into the Wii U. There you go. Now I will turn on the Wii U console. Okay, so let it come on, and I will switch the screens over to the Wii console. Okay, here we go, yeah. There you go. Right. So what you have to do from here? You need to have So look on the screen properly. You need to have Whoop Installer GX2 in your Nintendo Wii U, okay? I've already told you how to do that, so I'm not gonna go all over it again. So, once you have the Whoop Installer GX2, click on it. Let's take my. How do you want to do that, man? Let me just switch here, hold on. Sorry about that. This video is going so, so, so long, man. I'm very, very sorry about this. Yeah, first of all, before doing that, you need to go on to, yeah, the exclamation mark. Click on that to activate to the museum first. Yeah. Now, as I said just before, you need to have Open Store GX2 in your system. Okay. To show you again, which is highlighted in blue, you need that. Okay. Which I already told you. I made a video on it for you guys. Here we go. Yeah, open Solar GX2, the bad boy. You need that. So on the television screen, you will display that. Woohoo! What do you do there? So, the information you'll see is on the gamepad, okay? It's on the gamepad. I'll show you. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. Very nice. Can you see? Yeah, so the Super Mario Galaxy is showing up on to the on the Wii U now. Can you see? You just click on it on the left side, and you get this tick. Yeah. Then you click on install. You'll get this. Are you sure you want to install? It will say this. Look. Press yes then. Where do you want to install? He asks you that as well. That question. As well. Well, I've got enough space in there. I could do it in the NAND. So it says NAND and USB. The NAND is your internal storage of your Nintendo Wii U. The USB can be a flash drive and a hard drive. So I'll select that. And there you go, it's installing. Okay. So we'll wait to it to be installed. So while you enjoy the Whoop installer GX2. Oh, it's already on the screen as well, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Check it out. Look at that. Installing Super Galaxy. Actually, I didn't know that it was on the TV. Honestly. That's really nice. So now you know how much is getting installed on there. Look at that. Do all the music, man. It's got music in it. <laughs> Do this. That's cool. Well, look what's gonna happen. You are doing the NAND, the USB, it doesn't matter, it's the same process, and it will do the same thing. Woohoo! I think no one's actually ever showed you this, isn't it? That's why I got surprised when I saw this. Because a lot, a lot of videos that even showed this, they didn't show this on the television, they were showing it in the game pad. It looks really, really cool, like your actual TV. It's crazy. I really like it. So make sure you got enough storage on the internal memory to install this game because this game is pretty big.
crazy man. No one's ever done this before, yeah? The way I'm gonna show you is gonna be amazing. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna show you the game running on the television. Because once every, anything that comes on the Wii U menu, it doesn't matter if it's the Wii software, whatever, it will come on the television. So remember that. Once it's on the Wii U menu, it will come on the television through the uh, Wii U console HDMI cable. Alright? You do not need the Wii cable to do all this. So this is the amazing thing about this thing. This program, yeah? Because you're running it through the Wii U HDMI cable. This program is fairly fast. The way it installs. Really good. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, once it disappears on the television, yeah, you know it's installed. Look, we'll say that on the gamepad. Successfully installed. And from there, you press OK. That's it. From here, what you do, so once you come back here with OK, you press the home button on the Wii gamepad. Then you come on this screen. Just press close software. And then you will come towards currently suspend software. And press close. Here we go, guys. Now that game should pop on the Wii U menu. There you go. Hold on, I just highlight it for you. I highlight the game. Look at that. Look at that last icon on the bottom. Wii Super Mario Galaxy. There you go, man. That's how you do it. Now, we will check it out if it actually works. Yeah? Because you need to, you need to click on it like this. Because I don't got the Wii U. What have I? Now he's asking. Now what you have to do, you have to just press plus on the Wii remote. Look at that. For the Wii U HDMI cable, Super Galaxy. It just works like that straight away. Hmm, actually turned off. That's weird. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what it is? You know why it doesn't come on television, the Wii U menu? Because it's a Wii game. Yeah? I think I got confused with the Wii and the GameCube thing. Yeah. That ID actually works on the GameCube. It doesn't work on the Wii, yeah? So, it doesn't work on the Wii. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now, yeah?
So obviously I can't show you the gameplay on TV. Yeah. Now you'll go back onto the Wii U again. Yeah, just hold on a second. Because we need to see if the game is actually running. So I can show you the gameplay on the gamepad, yeah? Alright. Let's just come on. Hold up a bit. I'll show you the game planning. Keep that in place. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm <laughs> very, very sorry about this, man. This is going far too long. Okay, so what you do have to do from here? Okay. 
Okay. Right. So now. Okay. What do you not think? Okay, so I will be using this Wii Remote, which is the original Nintendo Wii one. Okay. And I will be using uh, a non shock as well, which is the Nintendo Wii one as well. Use this one. Okay, so let's click on it. Oh, you know, always makes this mistake, I swear, man. He makes probably confuses you, man. So I don't like about it. It's, it gets deactivated every time. I don't know what the heck they've done. It's really annoying. Because I just, I just selected it once, then when I selected it again, you know what happened? He just did that. Stupid man. You gotta make sure it's always activated man. Cause when you keep on playing Wii games, you have to keep on doing it. When you play it once, and then he does that. Very sorry about this man. Now you can select to my galaxy. Finally. And there you go. So my galaxy is showing like a like a VC thing now. And will the game actually work? Let's find out. So you don't need to go to the Wii mode. That's just a advantage of it. But you still can't play on t TV through the HDMI cable because you can't do that. Okay, you need to connect the nunchuck with it. That's what you say. Cool, look at that. You press A and B together. Look at that, works perfect. Sorry I couldn't show you in TV because I don't have the Wii cable. Look at that amazing Zoom My Galaxy man. Woohoo! So you have to use a nunchuck to walk to walk with Mario. I use a jump on the remote with pressing the A. There you go. Looks amazing, man. Look at that. 
So the maximum volume. No, sounds still quite good. Man, you could play this on the gamepad. Look at that, man. It's acting like a television. Much easier, I need to play. Like from the TV, innit? It's much easier to play on the gamepad like this. You've got to see. Well, the flowers, any? I don't know where they got Come in, the rescue. That was all there. I don't know how he made that thing, do not he? That's an absolutely amazing. The castle goes up in the air into the galaxy. The music are really good in the game, do not he? Shaking, he was taking that castle. Hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, he's not good. You idiot. Oh no. Oh. Ah, it's too bad. I can't rescue you now. Oh, that's what he's
，冒险值二十三。现在都负责的军呢？Ah, they're tricky to find, aren't they? I can't get you this time. Who's hiding in there? Wow, clever thing. Who the hell? That yeah. They only want to roll again, aren't they? Yeah. 
and they go home hammered on wood. Starry sky, starry skies again. Rosalina, yeah. Okay, I'll go to Spin now. Ah, oh, the remote, okay. Ah, oh, she disappeared. Check on that as well. Keep flying in. You can do the non as well, or the remote. So as you go. Now you can go to another one, yeah? <laughs> it's awesome, eh?
जी हाँ ओके अमर जिसमें लिबर मोड़ गए सो इट वर्क्स रियली रियली वाह अम्म वो लेकिन आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू हाउ एक्चुअली वर्क्स This guy's hard on you. You don't like these guys. Damn, come on. Oh, it's finished, man. Okay. Well, let's get that started. Man, you die very quickly in this game, don't you? It's hard to play with them. We um, we need more nunchucking. Got that grand star. There you go. That's what they're talking about. We got a bit of control now. Monster. Let's look at this new galaxy where he is. Okay, so we got the grand star, yeah? She's on about this thousand years or something. That's what Rosalind is on about.
Beautiful. So there you go. Pretty cool, huh? And with a press the home home button on the remote. You get to use Wii menu. You click on the Wii menu. You say yes. He's gonna actually take it to the Wii U menu. She's gonna do that. So we selected from the Wii U menu, didn't we? Not from the Wii Wii mode, did we? And there you go. Back on the Wii U. Very nice. So there you have it. That's how you get the Wii game on the Wii U menu, and you don't need any uh, game title or game ID. Not even the game ID and the uh, dot dot VFS. It does it automatically, player. Look at that. And even the even the game's large, it will make its it will make its file size small. And it will get installed and you can play it. No problems. Give me likes, comments, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.